what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to become unstoppable even if your season gets postponed. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. We all got really taken by surprise when things went into lockdown. Uh, we didn't really see it coming and we certainly didn't think it would last as long as it did. For a lot of you, it really sidetracked your development as a goaltender. So today I'm gonna help make sure that doesn't happen again by making you unstoppable. And the key to being unstoppable is being prepared. And what I have for you today are the four essential pieces of home training equipment you're gonna have to have if you wanna continue to make progress. Maybe your team gets, you know, someone tests positive, you go into 14 day quarantine, um, or your season gets postponed. This is how you're gonna continue making progress. It's not gonna break the bank. And my suggestion is that you order this stuff sooner than later, because if anyone tried to order fitness equipment during lockdown last time, didn't exactly go well. Here's what I got. Today we're gonna resist getting shiny object syndrome, trying to get the coolest and the newest and the, you know, the, uh, the most hyped piece of equipment. Um, you know, so we're not gonna start by like run out and get a kettlebell. You know, it's not that a kettlebell is a bad tool, but we're gonna go with the things that you can literally do dozens and dozens of exercises that will help you as a goalie using these pieces of equipment. And we're gonna start really basic and we're gonna start super cheap. It is a lacrosse ball <laughs> uh, and you can order one online. It's just an Indian rubber ball. You could use a tennis ball. If you have a foam roller, that's fine. Once you get accustomed to foam rolling, you want something that gets in a little deeper, which is why I suggest a lacrosse ball. But if you've already got something you use and you love it, that's fine. Do you need to get one that vibrates or that you put in the freezer or that <laughs> tells your fortune? No, you don't actually. Do those work? Um, yes, there is something to the vibration. Um, you know, do you need, is, is a Theragun better than a lacrosse ball. Um, you know, I don't know. I haven't seen research. I think there is something to the vibration, but I think Theragun is just easy, right? People can sit there and watch TV and use the Theragun. So they love the Theragun, but does it do a better job? I don't know that it does to like make up for the expense, especially if we're just starting out. So lacrosse ball. Now I never knew this, but they come in like greased and non-greased get the non-greased, not that it's a big deal if you get the greased kind, but it's gonna feel a little gooky uh, to start with. So if you can, order the non-greased. On to the next. The second one I've got for you is this resistance band kit. It's so satisfying because it comes with so many parts. Um, and it even comes in a little carry bag, a little travel bag. These are exactly the bands that I use in the goalie training lab, but also when I travel to camps or to do workshops, these are the ones I take. And they're, so their durability is really, really great. Uh, I ordered them on Amazon. I'll try to put a link to all these things down below, but it comes with all these bands. So, you know, if if, uh, let's say I go through and I get to the strongest level band, um, what does this say? It says it's like maybe 30 pounds and that's too easy for me. Well, then what I can do is I can do the 30 pound band and add on the 10 pound band. So now I've got 40, sort of 40 pounds of resistance. So it's nice that way. Like if you're super strong, load them up and go for it <laughs> and see what you got. I love this kit because I love it for a lot of reasons. <laughs> um, because all of the bungees are coated in this nylon, so they stretch inside. If one of these breaks, when one of these breaks, it's not gonna come up and smack you one in the back or the face. Uh, it's, it's gonna, it's safer. I will basically never use a band that isn't coated like this uh, with a client for exactly that reason. So safety first. The other thing I love about it is that it comes with ankle cuffs. So I use this in my ankle to work on adductors or hip movements or whatever. Um, you can also use it to anchor it to, uh, I think it comes with two. You, I anchor this to my uh, power rack or something really stable that's not, you're not gonna drag across the floor so that, um, you know, I can do chops and lifts and whatever it is on my training program that day. It also comes with a couple of handles. 
and nice durable handles. I've had other brands in the past where, you know, you're putting a lot of resistance and the handles are cracking in here. Not the case. And I've had this set literally for years. So a uh, couple handles. The other thing that is key, especially if you don't have a power rack or somewhere you can anchor uh, your, your band, it comes with a door anchor. So uh, a little hard to describe, and I don't actually have a door here. So, um, but basically if I'm training and let's say here's a door. Uh, so I will, um, and actually I want it to be opening out. So I want to be pulling the door closed basically. So if I open the door, slide this through the door and then close the door on it again. So basically this knobby part is on the outside of the door and this loop part is on the inside of the door where I can then attach my bungee and do my thing. And that almost makes it an, like an adjustable cable column because I can set it higher or lower on the door to get whatever height I need. So that's a resistance band kit. I think it's in the neighborhood of like 50 US dollars, which is incredible. You can do a ton with resistance bands. Some of it's a little bit janky. Like, you know, you can do squats with the resistance bands. Is it perfect? Does it feel the same as doing barbell squats? No, but you don't have a barbell now, do you? So <laughs> this makes it really easy. So now things start getting a little bit more expensive because I think, and I'm doing these sort of in order. So number one, have a lacrosse ball or, or or some tool for self mild fascia release. Number two, have a resistance band kit because you'll be able to use it at home for training. You'll be able to add resistance to a lot of goalie specific movement patterns. And if you're traveling, you know, to a training camp or whatever, you can take some with you. Now we're getting into dumbbells. And so dumbbells are going to be more expensive. Although now is the time to be scouring you know, whatever it is, Craigslist, Kijiji, where, whatever it is where you live that sells used stuff, because people are probably unloading that equipment that they bought before <laughs> and, and didn't use at all. And they probably, maybe they need a little extra cash right now. So you can go in and get a nice set. Uh, these are the ones that I use. They're, uh, uh, like, a rubber coated basically, but they don't have to be. So, you know, you can get the most basic, dumbbells. The problem with dumbbells is I basically have to pay over and over for the base amount of weight. So, you know, I have a 10 pound dumbbell, so I pay for 10 pounds of resistance, but then I need a 15 pound dumbbell. Well, now I have to pay for 10 pounds that I already have plus, you know, another uh, five pounds. So it, it gets more expensive and you're almost duplicating how much you pay. You can buy dumbbells that, uh, like kind of old school dumbbells where you, uh, like unscrew the end. And I, and I suggest you get the kind that it's kind of a pain in the butt to change, but that you unscrew the thread that the, the actual little bar is threaded because they're the most stable. If you have ones that have like a collar that screws on, I can't tell you how many times, <laughs> uh, and I had these when I was younger, when I lived at home with my mom and dad, I can't tell you how many times that collar just like somehow undoes itself and then all the weights kind of fall off. So what I mean is uh, it'll be a short little bar that the bar ends are threaded and then you can put plates on, you know, just not like these, not like Olympic plates, but <laughs> you can put plates on so that you can change how much weight you need. So maybe you've got like, you know, four 10 pound plates, uh, a couple 25 pound plates and some five pound plates. You can adjust those dumbbells to be whatever weight you need. It takes a little longer, but it's certainly going to be way cheaper. Uh, I'll also show you that now this is a little bit of higher end option, but the power block. So with the power block, uh, you basically, you know, move the pin to pick how much weight you're going to use. So I can slide it in here and take the whole thing. And that's going to be 50 pounds with this set. Or if I only need 20 pounds, I can come up here and just take that much out. So, uh, they work pretty well. People always say they, when I use them in videos, they're like, that looks like a toaster, <laughs> not a toaster. Um, and for a few things, sometimes the grip does feel a little bit funny. Now you would think, oh, this is probably cheaper because it's just one thing. Uh, that would not be the case. You would be wrong. <laughs> it really works out to be about the same amount, um, 
of investment as getting us a comparable dumbbell set. Maybe it's a little bit less, but don't go expecting that they're going to be uh, cheap. So I have uh, a set that goes from 10 to 50 pounds, but I can also add an expansion kit so that this dumbbell will go all the way up to 90 pounds. Really nice thing. Uh, super compact. You know, you would just have two of these and you know, that's it. So if you have a small space for working out, you don't have to have a big, you know, dumbbell rack. Even my dumbbell rack, it's small. Uh, it has two, four, six, eight, ten. It has ten dumbbells on it. You know, it takes up some space. So in terms of durability, I've used power blocks for years. When I used to go door to door <laughs> training people, I'd go to people's houses, I'd carry a, a pair of 40 pound uh, power blocks with me and they're still at revolution. Tyler's still using them today. They're not bent or broken or anything like that. There are other versions of a selectorized dumbbell. Uh, I think Bowflex makes one and I'm sure there are others. I can't say how they work or what the durability is like, um, but you know, it's a similar idea. So just check that out. You can basically do any weight training exercise you need to do. So you can do cleans with a dumbbell. You can do deadlifts with the dumbbells. Uh, they are a fantastic tool and they really do last forever. Now I know what you're going to ask me. You're going to ask me, well, what weight should I get? I don't know what, sh how heavy should the dumbbells be? That really depends on your age and more importantly, your training level. But I think you should have a light set. So like five pounds or three pounds. There's some small muscles we work that really require a light load. Five pounds is probably good. If you need, you know, something that's only about three pounds, you can always use, you know, a jar of spaghetti sauce or a can of spaghetti sauce. Um, and then, you know, probably a 10, 15. I'd probably get five pound increments up to 25 pounds. Then it depends where you're at. So just start out, see how it goes. If you know, like, well, I know when I'm at the gym, I need 50 pounders. Then pony up and get the 50 pounders. The last of the essential pieces of equipment you need is this. It is a catch ball. Um, and it's to work on your hand eye training. I love this because you can use it anywhere. You don't have to throw it against a wall. So when I design programs for turning pro goalies and I say, oh, you know, ball off the wall, they're like, you know what, actually we live in an apartment. I can't throw a ball off the wall or I don't have space in my dorm room to throw a ball off the wall, but they can use this. Um, I stayed in a micro hotel somewhere in like New York City where the room is like, <laughs> it's like you're on a cabin in a ship. And, uh, and I could use this. I had to be like full on kneeling on the bed at the back, but I could totally use it. So you've seen me use this lots of times before, but basically, um, you know, you, you attach it around your waist, but you can change the position to change the trajectory. So the knock on the catch ball, whenever I make a video is like, oh, well, it just comes back the same every time. That's not very hard. It actually is. You should be wearing your glove to do this. My glove is currently packed in a container because we're moving. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So imagine I'm wearing my glove, uh, and I'm not sure how good I am at bare hand catching. So we'll see. So another fantastic tool, and it really improves your tracking. So keeping visual attachment, it also rewards you for moving into the ball or the puck and helps you develop that habit. Not that expensive, uh, easy to use, easy to take with you anyway, as you go. And I know what you're going to ask next, because I know you, I've met you before. You're going to ask, well, what about this? What about lightning bolt? What about blah, blah, blah. Yes. There's a, there's a ton of stuff you could have, but if you're serious about doing the goalie specific training you need to improve your mobility, strength, speed, stamina, hand, eye away from the rink or from, from home, basically, these are the four that you should start with before you start adding any of the shiny objects. So if I had all these and I was looking, Hey, I want to expand my gym. Where, where's a good place to start? What should I look at next? An adjustable bench or some kind of plyo box, uh, not the kind with metal edges that's shaped sort of like that. Those are, those will rip your skin right off if you miss a jump, but something like that, that you can, you know, use for doing some dumbbell exercises, use for step ups, use for box hop ups. Uh, yes, even use for depth jumps. 
that that's a nice to have. A barbell is a nice to have because we can do, you know, uh, and actually I use it more as a landmine. So just like with one end uh, with weights on it, the other end on the floor, and you don't need the attachment that, you know, uh, the landmine attachment, you can just do it with the other end on the floor. That's a nice to have. TRX is fine. Um, but again, it doesn't really do anything magically that dumbbells and resistance bands won't do, but it is a nice tool to have. I would consider beyond my top four, probably the next thing I would look at would be adding a medicine ball, sort of a six to eight pound medicine ball. A stability ball is a good thing to have. And, um, you know, you can get them good quality ones and make sure you get a good quality one, one that says burst resistant. You can get those pretty cheap these days. The skills lightning bolt is a great tool, you know, so again, it would be, it would up your game and it's, again, it's packed away in a container, but it, it's the, it's the sort of pitching machine that shoots out little, almost like ping pong ball, uh, but it doesn't always come out exactly the same. And so it's great because you're actually having to pick up and catch and they come out really, really fast. If you live somewhere where maybe you're worried about not getting access to ice, or even now you realize, Hey, I'm, I'm only going to be getting on the ice a couple times a week and you're not seeing real shooters and you're at the level where I really need that practice of, of reading the play, then honestly think about getting the Sense Arena goalie to go. It's a virtual reality training system. I did another full video on it. I'll, again, I'll put the link in the description. It is a big ticket item. It's about $1,000, $1,100, something like that but it is the bomb diggity. So you should check out that video. Uh, if it's something that you're like, oh really? Like it is like being on the ice. It's great, like it's crazy. Watch the video. Uh, the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is a bonus tip. The Turning Pro goalies, when we went into lockdown, did such a good job of innovating. And one of the biggest innovations we came up with for resistance, cause yeah, it's like you gotta go home today and you got nothing, but we had to keep training. So we would get just like school backpack, and fill it with magazines, water bottles, textbooks, whatever, whatever you've got. Uh, and you could, we could get that weighing 40 to 50 pounds without much trouble. And then we could just, you know, hug it to do squats, hold the straps to do rows. There were a lot of things we could do. Was it perfect? No, but it got us by. So if you're ever stuck uh, and you just need resistance, you can always use your backpack and fill it up with whatever you can find to get it up to about 40 or 50 pounds. If you wanna see you know, some workouts that you can do at home that are goalie specific, but don't really require a lot of specialized equipment, I have a pull playlist for you. It's called the 10 Secret Habits of Pro Goalies playlist. Uh, and I'll put a link to it in the description as well. Otherwise, if you're thinking of getting a new piece of equipment, you're like, geez, I wonder, wonder if this, if I should spend my money on this or that, or is this, you know, this is what I've got. What's the next piece I should add? Put in the comments below. Let me know kind of basically what you've got, what you're thinking of adding, and I'll give you my opinion on whether that's the best use of your money or maybe, hey, instead of this, why don't you consider getting that so that you're all set, so that we're prepared to be unstoppable. Uh, and I'm prepared to get lots of likes for this video. So you know what to do. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new around here, everybody's doing it. Uh, if you're already subscribed, hit the bell so you know about these videos before anyone else. Um, what else can I tell you? That's it. I will see you in the next video.